Okay, this is a quick little reading for Sagittarius. What is coming towards the Sagittarius the rest of March? What are the messages you have for Sagittarius the rest of March? I'm using these little black cards. See what comes out. Let's see what we got. Kisses. Unconditional loving, giving, and receiving affection. Falling in love. Okay. So some of you guys could be falling in love here. <laughs> okay. This came out with it. Talking. Interested. Conversing more. Um, what's that say? Awaited message arrives. Text, call, email, hovering. <laughs> okay. So you guys kind of got somebody who's about to message you. This person's probably been watching you since it says hovering. Or either that or it's just somebody new you met or whoever you're with. Maybe they're really clingy. I don't know. Receiving what you need. Progression arrived. Moving on. Closure issues. Okay. So somebody you guys could have moved away from is about to come back, message you. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Oh, great. <laughs> so, that's pretty explanatory. So, <laughs> you know, that makes sense with the hovering. Um, I've seen that in a video. They say narcissists are known for that. They stalk their prey. They hover over you. You know, well, they got to, you know, protect their interest or whatever. They don't want other people to get to you. Oh, Lord, what is this? Hmm. Karmic relationship, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Okay, so you guys could have left this person and told them to fly a kite because you love yourself. And they're hovering and they're about to come back. Look what was with it. Look at all this crap on these cards. <laughs> this is like sticky stuff. My little um, nephew or somebody could have been playing with these cards. I don't know. But it says not showing true feelings, hide personality, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Okay. That's self-explanatory. You are dealing with a narcissist. Sabotage. Rebuilding. Repetitive. Persistent working on it. Okay. So, you know, the fact that this says sabotage, this could have been somebody who like self sabotaged this relationship and now they want to like come back and rebuild it. That sounds fun. <laughs> oh man. And I, I don't use these a lot, but something told me to tonight. Oh, look at this crap. Coffin. Endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change. So, this was somebody you had an ending with is coming back. Clock, need time, take time, time cycles, time to heal, progression. You know, I feel like this time change, it, it like, it feels like a timeline shift, not just because we switched an hour, but it's just like, I feel like a lot of you guys are like, you know, raising your consciousness and like, Right, right, rising to different levels so it's like a lot of people come feel you energetically letting go so they're going to like try to come back not enough frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego jealousy okay so this person probably made you feel like you were not good enough and I feel like they self-sabotage this relationship on purpose because they are some type of a narcissist. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot of cards in this deck. I think there's like maybe 40, but usually when you pull, I pull this many, there's usually some pretty good cards that'll come out like Soulmate or Twin Flame or Engagement. I mean, these are all kind of the same thing you know oh i didn't even see this card it must have been stuck to another one focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation that's kind of funny i'm moving these cards and found one i didn't even know was down here so see they're kind of telling you to heal and i think that's what you guys are doing 
you guys are healing, doing your shadow work, you know, raising your vibration. And these narcissists, you know, they, they sense it, you know, they know that you're doing something and they feel it. So keys on a ring, many options, decision, uncon unconventional string along one night stand okay so maybe this was even like a one night stand you know maybe you are dealing with a narcissist who try to make you believe oh look what was with it passion insane chemistry like each other equally having fun um <clears throat> so the fact that these were together maybe you were dealing with a narcissist and you had talked to him for a while um maybe online or something and then you met you guys had like he thought you were going to be with this person. You had a one night stand or something. And then they just ghosted you or left you. I don't know. But there was something shady this person did. Um, and I feel like this could end up being like a warning read. This person's like, you know, going to come back and try to throw you off of your healing journey that you've been doing. This person made you feel like you weren't good enough. And so it's like... I think you guys should like when they come back just I'm, I think it's going to kind of like um, <laughs> just kind of make you guys feel a little bit better about yourself like oh yeah like look who's back and look who I'm about to reject you know like <laughs> hopefully that's what you guys do I bet you will most Sagittarius they don't put up with too much shit so since we know this is a returnee let's um Let's ask these cards what they would say. So what would this person say to Sagittarius? Oh, boy, that went flying. <laughs> I told you guys. I told you. This person can energetically feel you leaving them. And they, they can't have that. They're like, nope, Sagittarius is not leaving. But they know you are. But they're going to try everything in their power to stop this. Finding out the truth crushed me. Okay, so this person could have found something out. Maybe they found out that you got somebody else and you're moving on. And they never thought that would happen. Like, maybe they thought you were sitting at the house eating bonbons, watching Maury Povich or something, waiting for them to come back. <laughs> you guys probably don't even watch that junk. I know I wouldn't. But it's just funny because narcissists think the most stupidest thing. So... They think you're waiting for them, and maybe they found out you're with somebody else, and it's just like killing them. Or maybe you guys found out some truth about them, found out who they really were. I'm becoming a better person. Okay, sure you are. I think you guys are, but I think this could kind of be <clears throat> like a warning as to what they're going to tell you, so you'll be prepared for their lies. Because whoever this person is... uh. They don't seem very nice. Uh-huh. Look at that. I hid who I really am from you. Of course you did. Because you were a narcissist. They were wearing a mask. I lost myself for a little while. I think that's what you guys did. I think when you were dealing with this person, you lost yourself. And now you're getting yourself back. And this person can't have that. They're going to come back. I know that I crossed the line with you. Yeah, damn right you did. <laughs> okay. I look for you everywhere. Of course, of course they do. They're hovering. This person's watching your house, your social media, and everything else you're doing. So they're looking for you everywhere on purpose. I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> so many things remind me of you. So this person's obsessed with you guys. And they knew exactly what they were doing to you. So whatever they did to you, take it to the bank. They did it on purpose. So I'm not going to pull any more from this. The one at the bottom says this though. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, stalking you. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's ask the tarot what they want to tell us about this person. Who is this person? Oh, look. As soon as I cut it, look who's in the middle. 
There's you guys' friend, the Virgo, who <laughs> wanted to communicate. <laughs> so this person probably ghosted you. It doesn't even have to be a Virgo, but this person could have ghosted you. And now they want to come back. Yeah, they backstabbed you. Oh, it could be a Libra. Could be a Libra. This person's holding on to you for dear life. They don't want to let go of you, whoever this person is. And they like to go in and out of your life, or they were just playing you. Like, this person thought they could get away with this crap. And you might have blocked them, or they blocked you. But they never have let go of you. Yeah. And they know that they have, like, competition for you, and they want to fight that person, these people off of you. Like, they're coming back to fight for you. Like I said, this person, they, they somehow, just, they instinctively know there's others around you. They feel it. That's what sucks about karmic um, relationships. It's no different than a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection because uh, as far as, like, energy, they know when you're getting away. They know when other people are around you. Um, because you're tied together. You have karmic business with this person. Yeah, and you ended things. And you guys have done life together and in other lives. So they come back. And um, they're going to fight because they do not want this ending with you. Okay, and this person... Okay, so at the bottom we have the Empress... So this is you guys. See, you guys are raising your vibration. You're very abundant. You're good looking. You're very nurturing. You're taking care of herself. Like the Empress, is, she's very good. Um, you know, she takes care of herself. She's very well off. Um, these people know this. And here's the Ten of Cups. I feel like you guys are happy emotionally. Um, if not, you will be. Okay? Like you're going to have a great home life. And then we have the strength. So, um, there's somebody who's been holding back communication. But I also feel like this is you guys. You guys have really been raising your vibration, um, being happy, doing more things with your family, taking care of yourselves, and really having the strength to move on. And you're looking for new love. Okay? And you're going to get it. You're going to get new love. You probably might have already gotten new love. And that's why this person's energies here but and then look so here you guys are everything's happy you know you can kind of see the yellow everything looks really nice and lovely and then <laughs> here you have this other energy somebody who's in regret they had you in a third party this person could be drinking overindulging um, they're waiting on you they want to reunite with you and they have not been healing, okay? So you're over here, you're healing, you're raising your vibration, you're happy, you're looking for new love, already have it. This person has not been doing the healing work. They've been out probably partying it, up with a third party, doing God knows what, and they feel death. Like, this person is feeling this ending. Like, you were their happiness. You made them happy, so now they're feeling this, they feel left out in the cold. You know, they feel like it's winter. Um, it was shocking to them that you left them behind or that they found out you found new love. Like, this person is so arrogant and egotistical and narcissistic. They literally thought they could do whatever to you and that you would wait around for them. Okay? that's This is the type of person you're dealing with. This is not a kind individual. So, I know Sagittarius, you guys have huge, huge hearts, but I want you to remember what this person did to you when they do come back, because they're going to put on a sob, 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 sob story for you guys. Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. Here they come. They're going to return, and they're going to send lots of communication. 
this person wants a brand new passionate beginning with you okay so just get ready this person's coming that's just at the bottom so this kind of shows like what's been happening okay let's see what's at the top king of swords four of wands so see you guys are single or you could have recently just met somebody maybe an air sign somebody that you're thinking about being with um i feel like <clears throat> this past person though is very cold like if this is them they're being they're very cold individual and they want to communicate to you i can see but you guys are over here being independent you're very stable you're grounded yeah and then here comes this person see this could be an air sign um Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is coming back in. It doesn't have to be, but King of Swords is usually also could be an X. So this is definitely an X. We know that. This person's going to come back in. They feel like they're running out of time. Um, yeah. It's something about this person. Like I said, this person has somehow got wind that you've encountered somebody else. Okay. Like, I feel like this is somebody else. This isn't. This could be your Sagittarius energy, but I don't think it is. I feel like this is another person that you found new love with um, and that you're thinking of committing to, and this person's going to try to come in and stop it. Yeah, because they see, see what this person's doing, this King of Swords. So you have this person over here who is very passionate about you, wants to live with you, commit to you. And then this other person over here sees that you're taking a leap of faith, going on a new journey. They want to stop it. So this person's going to try to come in and stop your new love. Yeah, and they don't want to let go of you. So they're holding on to you for like dear life here. They view you as this queen of pentacles. So this, um, I feel like this new person views you as that too. But they don't want to release you. Yeah. And whoever this is, this ex, here they are at night, stressing out, freaking out. <laughs> the thought of you going on a new journey and releasing them and letting them go, it's their karma. Like, they did this to themselves. I feel like they could have had everything with you. It reminds me of that new, that Miley Cyrus song that just came out. It's, it's not the Flowers one. It's on the album, though. And it says... I'm sorry that you're jaded, but I really could have took you places or something like that. Like just saying like, I'm sorry you're jaded, because, but you know, I could have taken you places. Whoever this person is, they didn't see your value. They didn't treat you like the empress that you are. And now they see somebody else is potentially treating you better and treating you right. They, they can't stand it. And if you've went quiet on this person, it's, it's stressing them out. Yeah, he could be dealing with a Leo here, too. But you guys are happy. See, you guys' energy over here is happy. Sunshine. Over here, worry, stress. About to come in and just act a fool. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a Libra. Um, for some of you guys who deal with a Libra, I mean, it doesn't have to be a Libra. But for those of you who do know a Libra, that that, that, that person's coming back, guaranteed. Okay. This person doesn't want you to move on at all. Yeah. And there's a lot of hidden emotions going on with this past person. Um, like, I don't think they ever really express their emotions. Or they're, they they also are having, like, fears. They're having some type of fear, too, about reaching out. But they will. Yeah. This, <laughs> see, there you, you found love with this King of Wands, King of Cups. There's a lot of happiness and love going on over here. There's a lot of fear, worry, anxiety over here. Yeah, and see, whoever this person is, they want to come back and move things forward with you. Um, but I can see that, like, the scale is balancing in your favor. So when I see the justice, um, usually in any type of reading like this, you always will see new love and new finances, okay? And then we have the wheel, letting me know that you guys the things are going in your favor this is the devil you guys are overcoming the devil and the devil is going under you okay so you're bypassing this devil <laughs> this person is 
you know, I don't want to say that they're the devil. That's just, that's too dramatic. I don't think anybody is. I do think people have um, negative entities attached to them. And that's who this person is. They're very toxic. They could have an addiction. They may not be a full-blown narcissist. It's just they're, the way they grew up and the things they're involved in is very toxic. So you're bypassing this person. Yeah, and you're, the, but they're still going to try. They're going to try to come in and, like, love bomb you. Yeah, and <clears throat> they're going to try to put in the work. But I feel like this new love is what's giving this person, like, a run for their money. Because this is a soulmate, too, by the way. And, you know, when it comes to your finances, finances are going to be good, too. Yeah, see, this past person's all in their head overthinking about you. So, they don't just think about you at night, like we've seen with the Knight of Swords. They're thinking about you during the day, too. Yeah, and here they are stalking you, watching you. This person, like I said, they're hovering over you. Yeah, and I feel like <laughs> you could have rejected this person, or when they do reach out, you're going to reject them. I really do. I feel like you're going to reject them. Because um, you're, you're just done with this person. Yeah, and they're, hold on, is there a card attached to that? Nope, it's just my card's getting old. Look at that. <laughs> I thought there was a card stuck to this. Um, this person's have, like I said, they're having stress, anxiety, and worry because they know you're giving to others. And they feel rejected, and oh my goodness. So be careful with this person. <laughs> Whoever this is, whatever they've been seeing online, or whatever they've heard, it, they're very jealous so they're not only in a very anxiety ridden state they're in a very jealous vindictive I will kill cut or whatever I have to do I'm not going to say they're really going to go kill anybody but they're going to want to destroy the competition but this person's very very jealous very jealous yeah and now they want to take charge okay but I also feel like not just that but the problem this person's going to run into is this person's not prepared for this person? We have the King of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Emperor with the Sun. Whoever this new love is, they make you very happy. And I feel like this person will protect you from this ex. And I don't feel like this ex realizes who they're up against. I don't think they realize you've already found like an emperor. Or whether you're male or female, you've done found somebody. Yeah, and this past person's just looking back at everything you guys did together. And they want to come back together. Like, they're waiting for you. This ex is waiting for Sagittarius. Yeah, they want to reunite. But the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, you've done found a soulmate. Okay? And if you haven't found the soulmate yet, you're about to. This is all about to happen. And you know what's crazy? Is I went... I've seen a video, um, no, I didn't even see a video, or yeah, I did, I've seen a video, it was on somebody else's page from like three years ago, it wasn't even mine, and I was thinking, well, I'm not clicking on that, that's three years old, but that thing ended up predicting things, and then that's when I heard like Spirit say, well, tell your people, if they'll go back and look at your old videos, the same thing's gonna happen. A lot of things that happened um, or that was said in videos six to nine months or even a year or two ago is now resonating with what's happening in your life now. It's just, it's crazy. I don't know why, but so if this, any of this hasn't happened yet, this is going to happen in your future. But for those of you who just found somebody new, it is a soulmate. It, you were brought together with this person. And this past person wants to move to calmer waters with you look we have two cards of healing there's like a lot of healing um that you are doing yeah and then here here's this person i feel like is gonna message you ask to see you face to face but they don't have much okay yeah and then look at this <laughs> so you guys are moving on to like a bigger commitment you guys are being like the spirit is leading you guys that's where you guys are headed in this boat to this commitment 
So you guys are moving on to an actual commitment. And I told you, when I see the um, Justice card, I always see new finances and new love. And we've seen those come out. So whoever this person is, they do want to offer you a commitment. We have two commitments. This person wants to see face to face too. And then look, so spirit is pushing you to your destiny. They're pushing you towards healing. That's why there's so much healing here with the temperance and the star. And you guys also could like me to do a spiritual bath. Okay, so like get some salt scrubs and like scrub bad energy off you. But you see where this emperor is headed? He has a star on his forehead. This is the emperor that we seen a minute ago over here. So you're being literally pushed by spirit to this emperor, king of cups, king of wands, sun energy, not this past energy. Yeah, and you're going to have victory and success. You're becoming very, very... Very successful Sagittarius. Like, a lot of people are paying attention to you. You have the victory wreath. So, like, you're going to have the victory. Um, you're going to have the money, commitment, the new love. And you also are going through, like, a huge spiritual awakening here. See, you're being moved away from this devil, too. It's like, <laughs> it's like... Whoever this past person is, this is what they want for you. Like they see you moving to success, commitment, new love, and they, they don't want that. So here they come. They want to keep you stuck and tied to them. Bound, stuck, and tied. That's what this person wants. Yeah, and this is who they are. They are not an eye to wants. They have, this past person has no intentions on ever committing to you. I don't care what they tell you. Because this, just remember, like I said, you need to remember what this person did to you in the past. Because when they come back and they tell you that they want to marry you and that they've changed and they can't live without you. I want you to remember who this person is. They're wearing a false mask. Okay, they're just going to tell you whatever you want to hear. But this person has no intentions on changing. They're going to stay stuck and stagnant probably their whole life, unfortunately. Yeah, and so they're telling you. To Queen of Swords, this person. Cut them off. Like, cut that tie. And block your heart. You gotta block your heart off. Yeah. Because this person, literally, this is them. Everywhere they go, drama follows. Chaos. Just drama. It's what this person lives for. Yeah. And this person broke your heart in the past. They probably had you in a third party or had you as competition. And you're going to move into something um, that's stable, committed, grounded, long-term. This person knows it, too. They're looking over at you happy. Like I said, you have somebody who broke your heart, who is now getting a front row seat to watch you move on. It's their karma. It was destined. And they're going to try to apologize and apologize and apologize. And then look. We have the world in reverse. This person has unfinished business with you. This is how I know this is a karmic connection. Okay. A lot of you are probably going to go back to this person for another round. Unfortunately, you will. From what I'm seeing. <laughs> like, I wouldn't do it and pass the test. But I, it, it's up to you guys. And if you do a past karma with them and you're being led to go back, it's because you there's still lessons. But this person wants to keep you stuck. They, their worst nightmare is this world to flip upside upright and you move away. And then here they come, offering you love again. They're coming back. You guys had a past life together. They're going to be apologizing to you, the Queen of Wands. They're going to communicate to you. And they're going to tell you that they want to build with you. But you guys are moving to victory. There's a crown of victory again here. And you guys, whatever happens in this conversation with this person, I feel like it's going to help a lot of you to move forward and to kind of have closure. Because maybe if they do come back and apologize and tell you how they feel or whatever, it'll give you just enough clarity to cut them off once and for all and realize it's, it's that you have to go towards the new love, okay? I know a lot of times when people, um, especially if you are with somebody for a long time, sometimes it's easier 
um, to go back to the past because you're familiar with it, it's like, well, that's the devil I know. So I'd rather stick with that because I know what I get than to go into a brand new relationship and you don't know the person, you don't know how they're really going to end up being. But I'm telling you, if you will just have faith, that's all you need is you just need to have faith and you need to trust and say, you know what? I know that my God, my ancestors, my guides would not want me to be unhappy with this past person and that they do have something better for me because I'm telling you they do. You're going to be very happy with the new person. Yeah, look, so this past person is still watching you, keeping a close eye on you, staring at your pictures. And like I said, there's something about this communication that is going to finally give you guys the clarity that you needed to hear to end this with this person. You guys are going to end the past. Yeah. And you guys are going to go straight to your um, wish fulfillment. So that's what I have for you. Um, I do feel like, I do feel like though, there's somebody who ghosted you guys. Could have been a Virgo. I mean, it could be any sign. This person ghosted you. They're going to come out of that ghosting mode to communicate. And they're coming right back towards you. Because you are their wish fulfillment. Okay? But I feel like you guys are going to end it and go towards your wish fulfillment. But this person, they see you as wish fulfillment. But I think you guys are going to realize that they're not your wish fulfillment at all. So, let me roll some dice. See what signs comes out. Okay, we have Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Cancer, Aries, Leo. A lot of Libra. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a Libra sneaking around. I can feel a Libra. <laughs> Um, you guys got a Libra coming, so. Also, like, the skills. Like I said, you have new love, new finances coming. Let's see. Seven, two. Oh, good Lord. Look at that. <laughs> so, we have seven, two, three, and then the eleven, eleven. So, you guys are going through, like, a huge awakening. And for some of you guys, this is your twin flame. Uh, it would make sense. They like to go in and out of your life. A lot of them, they, they're, aren't, they're not healed. That's why they come into your life to help each other heal. So this definitely could be your twin flame. You guys could be dealing with a narcissistic twin flame. Ugh, that's not good. But <laughs> that's who this person probably is, okay? So have a good one, Saj. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.